Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to go up, uh, go out to New York City, uh, Long Island specifically for a RIP episode. Last week, former Lucchese uh, underboss and conciliary Joe Caridi, a.k.a. Joe C., passed away. I'm told he lost a bout with cancer. He was only about 75 years old. Uh, was part of a two or three person group, including uh, Louis Bagels, Daydoni, to be running the Lucchese's on a day to day basis in the late 90s, early 2000s. Went to prison in 03 ish, came out in 09, went into retirement. Uh, there are some court documents and some FBI intelligence briefings over the last decade that show that Joe C was kind of brought off the bench and activated for maybe about a year as, you know, in semi-retirement to help the Lucchese um, administration change over in the late 2010s when uh, imprisoned boss Little Dick Amuso ordered Maddie Madonna, Stevie Crea, and, and company to step away and put in Big Mike DeSantis. And at that time, uh, Patty read Del Russo and Caridi was very close to Stevie Wonder, uh, Maddie Madonna's underboss, and Caridi kind of helped smooth smooth over the the rough edges and and get the new guys in and the old guys out without any violence. Um, two more things to mention about Caridi, and then we'll wrap up. Uh, he owned a strip club in Long Island called Cinderella's. Uh, he was referenced by the press back in the late '90s, early 2000s as kind of a real life Long Island version of Tony Soprano. And then what's probably most noteworthy about him um, is how he got to the Lucchese's and became a member of the administration. Shout out to the, the Black Hand Forum uh, research blog that does a great job of breaking down a ton of mob history. One of their posters about seven years ago, uh, I believe his name is JD, uh, put something up there from an old federal document that showed that Joe Caridi had actually been traded to the Lucchese's from the Bananos um, in, an, in a situation that spawned from a beef that uh, the Bananos had with a Lucchese guy that they felt like they had a claim to uh, under uh, Georgie Goggles Conte. The Bananos felt like he, you know, he should be with them instead of. Uh, Conte and the Lucchese's. Caridi at that time, I'm told, was in Vinny Asaro's crew in the Queens, and they made a, a, a trade. And there was a sit down between Joe Massino, the godfather of the Massinos, or sorry, godfather of the Bananos, and little Joe DeFiti, who was the acting boss at that time of the Lucchese's in the summer of 1994. Uh, and this exchange was made. Caridi got made in 95, according to this document, sponsored by uh, Louis Bagels. And then became Louis Bagels, you know, right-hand man as Louis Bagels became acting boss later on. R.I.P. to Joe C., another one of these old-timers, uh, cashing in his chips and, and going to the big social club in the sky. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.